The COVID-19 pandemic created new challenges for all of us and the isolation of the Galapagos archipelago proved no shield against the turmoil. Travel restrictions and the sharp decline in tourism revenue cut a vital economic lifeline for the people of Galapagos, as well as our closest partner, the Galapagos National Park. The concern for the people and wildlife of Galapagos from our supporters has been inspiring. Your generosity in a time of unprecedented need enabled us to not only continue to make strides in our conservation work, but also to provide strategic and timely support for our partners and the struggling community. Although the pandemic forced us to temporarily postpone field work, we were able to quickly adapt to new safety protocols and achieve incredible milestones thanks to the support of our community of donors. The story of the century was the confirmation that the female tortoise we found on Fernandina Island is indeed a Fernandina giant tortoise, a species believed extinct for 112 years. Along with the park, we have already begun to search the island in the hopes of finding a mate and saving the species. We were thrilled to return 15 Española giant tortoises that saved their species from extinction back to their home island. There they join the self-sustaining population that has now begun breeding naturally. There was heartening news for a bird that is sadly close to extinction on Santa Cruz Island, Darwin's flycatcher. Our investments to restore their feeding and nesting grounds by removing invasive blackberries resulted in improved breeding and nestling survival. Our financial support for these efforts also guides key management decisions by the park as they attempt to control the more than 800 known species of invasive plants in the islands. Offshore, Galapagos Conservancy is working with partners to protect the rich waters of the Galapagos Marine Reserve. This protected area is home to a diverse array of migratory species but aggressive international fishing fleets operating near the reserve's perimeter threaten their swimways and their survival. Closer to shore, we're delighted that our support towards the construction of 120 artificial nests for penguins has helped sustain a growing population. Our hope is the Galapagos penguin is well on its way to recovery. As we grew accustomed to working from home, Researchers turn to technology to compensate for the absence of field work. Galapagos Conservancy proudly launched an important tool for their work, Galapagos Vital Signs, an online interactive dashboard of current environmental conditions in the islands that allows scientists to analyze important data, plan expeditions, and make predictive models to inform their work. Environmental challenges are impacting communities around the world, but they require a special level of awareness and responsibility among those living in protected places like Galapagos. Our Education for Sustainability team found innovative ways to help over 400 local educators overcome unreliable internet connectivity and limited student access to technology when the pandemic required them to teach at a distance. We converted to virtual workshops to continue to train teachers on strategies that allow students to carry out real world projects that are personally meaningful and focused on conservation. Galapagos is now ready to open its doors to sustainable tourism and to show the world how humans and nature can coexist. Behind the scenes, Galapagos Conservancy and our partners continue to work relentlessly to tackle emerging conservation issues, ensure positive results for major restoration projects, and prevent the entry and spread of new invaders. Additionally, we continue to invest in helping to build a sustainable society 
in which local people become leaders in protecting their unique home. The pandemic has given us the time to reflect on the complex relationship between nature, industry and conservation. We are so grateful to you, our passionate supporters, who helped us turn an unprecedented situation into an opportunity for conservation. To our entire Galapagos Conservancy community, thank you.